thanks for joining us with Church on the Beach today. And we wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. It's Bill and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. We're so glad that you would join us. Let's continue on with Rise and Be Healed. And remember, nothing, absolutely nothing, is too difficult for our God. I want to share today from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, about living in divine health. Verse 18 says, The path of the just, or the righteous, is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter until the perfect day. So the people of God should be getting brighter and brighter in the midst of a very dark world. So let's arise and shine and continue in the path of life. For God has a plan that your spirit, soul and body may be made perfect at the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, divine health is promised in the Word of God. But first we need a vital, intimate fellowship with the Lord through Jesus Christ. Verse 20, he calls us his children. He says, my son, my daughter, my people give attention to my words. We must get our priorities right in a troubled and distracting world. The Lord says, incline your ear to my sayings. That is, bow down, humble yourself, and let the Almighty whisper in your ear. Yes, it's that still, small voice of God that seeps down into our heart, changes our life, gives us hope, creates faith. We all need to continue on in the faith, having hope in our heart for the future. Let not my words depart from your eyes. Keep them in the very center of your heart. Let me say, build a hedge around about your heart, a thorny hedge to keep the enemy out. That is our enemy, Satan, who has come to steal, kill, and destroy. He knows our heart is a wellspring of life, for out of our heart comes the issues of life. That's why the Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence. God's word is life with a capital L. When Jesus comes again, and he will soon, in Revelations chapter 19 and verse 13, he was clothed in a robe dipped in blood, his name called the word of God. King of kings and Lord of lords. Now is the time to walk with him on that path of life that gets brighter and brighter. Having that personal and intimate relationship with the Son of God. That word, the word of God, brings life to all who find him and health to all of their flesh. That is spirit soul and body. So guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk, stay away from corrupt speech, and look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you, and mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path, don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. The Lord says, Come from out among them, my people, and touch not the unclean thing. I will receive you then as my children. Remember, the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. God bless you. We want you to have a great day and a wonderful week.